You see shirts like this all the time, but you have no idea how to get started. Let me show you. So let's start at the beginning of this whole process. We're going to go outside and bleach our shirts. The shirts that I use will turn this white color. A lot of people have issues with things not turning white because typically they're not using the correct shirt. So you want to make sure that you are using a Heather shirt. I use the Gildan soft style shirts, Heather colors only. So let's go outside and get these bleached. I use these t-shirt forms from Hobby Lobby to make sure that the bleach is not bleeding through to the back, but you can use trash bags, lids, anything like that, just to make sure that it's not gonna go through to the While those shirts are outside bleaching, we're gonna go ahead and print our designs off so that they're ready after the shirts are washed and dried. I use the Epson 15,000 and I use BC Sublimation paper, the best paper out there. And then I also use my BC Sublimation ink. So let's go ahead and get our designs printed. Here's one of the designs that we're gonna be using. A lot of people ask what software that I use and it's not a software. It's actually just when you open a photo from your downloads, this is what pulls up and then you have a little menu options up here. So I'm just gonna go in print on a load and by 17 and hit print, but make sure that you flip your image because it will print out the wrong way. We're going to heat up our heat press. I'm setting mine to 375 for 60 seconds. You can do 400 degrees, 375 is just kind of the best that I found for my heat press for some reason. Some just seem to get hotter than others. So we're going to get this heated up and then we are going to press the shirt. So an issue that a lot of people have is when they go to press the design onto the shirt, it scorches the shirt, meaning it turns the shirt a yellow color. So what you can do is use a little bit of peroxide, spray the shirt down, and it usually turns it white right away. If your scorching is really bad, um, like really brown and dark, that probably means your temperature is too high or your pressure is too hard. So um, adjust those things because there's a lot of the time I'll press my shirt and I don't even need to spray it with peroxide because it hasn't turned a yellow color at all. So just keep those things in mind. Went ahead and did a pre-press here and we're gonna get the design on. Here's the design we're gonna be using. Here is shirt number two. That completes our video on how to make a sublimation shirt from beginning to end. I hope that was helpful. You can visit beastsublimationinc.com for the products that I was using. And thanks for watching.